Hi everyone, we're here at John Satter's Auto Repair and we're doing a front brake job on a 1998 Lincoln Mark 8. And we're putting these slotted and drilled rotors and brake pads on it. So I put in new rotors on it and I put a dial indicator on the rotor and I had three thousandths of an inch and that will run out, maybe three and a half thousandths. So three is about the most that you want to have on a new rotor. And I use this tool that goes on the studs that helps clean the hub surface behind here. And then I use the wire brush that I've kind of worn down over the years to, to go in between where the hub mounts onto it. And so I wasn't happy with that, so I repositioned it. So I made an initiation mark with some whiteout where I first started, and right there, those were the first two marks I started with. So as you can see, I moved to two positions. If I move it one position, it doesn't seem to do anything. And if I move it two positions by experience, I get a little bit better result. So now we can look at the, um, at the, at the gauge, and we'll see if we can see So we're like one thousandths, one and a half thousandths. That will run out now. So what I do is before I torque all this bracket and everything down, I just put it on and hand tighten it. The torque on this bracket and the caliper mounting bracket is 87 foot pounds. So you don't want to torque it on and then try and measure it because if you're off, then you got to take it back off again. So I went from three and a half thousandths to one and a half thousandths. So it's just a pretty significant difference over the life of a brake job that you want to do things like that. So it's a little tip I want to pass on the rest of the world. You can move it a couple spots at a time. Make sure you mark it where it originally was because you can always go back to that spot if it gets worse going any further the other way. So thank you very much. Have a nice day.